Uh, he basically played a very big influence in my life because when I was younger I, I had the sense that Denmark wasn't really the country for me. I had to move and I th had for many years thought that America was my home country. I was somehow spiritually born in America. So I went home when I was 18, 19 to America and, and was planning to start my new life and obviously as those pl plans are they never really turn out as you expect and I was a little confused of why the hell I was there and how things should plan out. And then suddenly um, I saw this movie by old Dreyer, Shang Dak, and uh, I've seen it before, but it didn't really influence me. And now suddenly there's something in the, in the whiteness, there's something in the motions, there's something in the radical close-ups, the whole emotional chargedness that was very like coming home, basically. There was something, even though he's completely his own, there's also something very Danish about him. And I realized that um, I was too. So I had to come back and um, I blame Dreyer for doing that. I think there are two elements to Dreyer that is very inspiring. There's the movies, uh, I like to call them sort of churches, because they had these strange buildings that you sort of walk into and everything around you is just leaves and there's only the room and there's only dryer but there's also the fact that they were built and the way he built them and i find that very it may be at some points in my life even more inspiring because you can't really you can't imitate the churches you'll look like an idiot there can only be those uh, but the way he built them the way he had courage to just go on and and apparently had no stress in t in life he just wanted them to be perfect i find that there's a very uh, famous anecdote about him on a set and it's apparently the last day I think of shooting or one of the last days and it's important obviously that they get the shot and it's out, it's, it's uh, getting, the sun is uh, going down, everybody's ready, the actors, the cameraman, uh, the only one who's not ready is Mr. Dreyer, he's walking around the set looking at stuff, making things just right. Uh, so the cameraman and the actors uh, walk so and say, I'm sorry Mr. Dreyer, but it's, it's time to make the shot. Uh, and he just turns around and looks at him and says, um, well, it's okay, if we don't do it now, we do it next year. And, and this, having this approach to cinema is just, um, <laughs> it's very different and it's very inspiring. It, it, you don't build churches in one day. Dreyer just really went all the way. There's, there's, there's nothing that seemed to really influence him. Obviously he was very influenced by a lot of techniques and a lot of aesthetics, but there's something about some of his movies or the shots of his movies, the way he dated, everything about them basically. is in touch and out of touch of time uh, at all times. He was out of time when he made them and he's out of time now and he's very much something that you could look at and feel inspired as a director but also as a human being right now. So he's He's just this strange guy that uh, <laughs> you should you should give it a try.